Okay, so um, now that you have filled in the recipe box, or the recipe blanks in Chef, Al Chef Alan's recipe, um, I would like for us to start thinking about, well, what would happen if I wanted to make more of these cookie dough sandwiches? Let's say um, instead of just for our small class, I wanted to make this for, you know, a dozen people or two dozen people. Obviously, I would have to increase my ingredients. The thing is, though, right, for every, let's say, for example, for every one stick of butter, I need one fourth cups of flour. If I double this recipe, two sticks of butter, I have to also double my flour, right? There is this relationship between these two ingredients. So, to help me start thinking about um, either bigger or smaller recipes, let's say I want to just make this for one person for myself, right, I would have to decrease the recipe. So, whether I want to increase or decrease this, a useful way of seeing the relationship between two variables, two things, um, is with a data table. So, on page um, four of your notebook, go ahead and write number four on the top left corner. And you can write the title, Creating a Data Table. So once you're finished, so pause the video while you do that, and then you can continue once you're finished. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do is I want us to choose, so don't write this down, actually. Let me just rewrite this. Don't copy So the very first thing I want you to do is choose two of the ingredients that are related to each other in the recipe. So for example, in the relationship or in the in the linear relationship lab, um, the two ingredients two ingredients that are related to each other are brown sugar and salt. Right. So according to Chef, Chef Allen, for every three cups of brown sugar, you need 1.5 teaspoons of salt. So I'm going to choose brown sugar. Example. For every three cups of brown sugar, um, you need 1.5 teaspoons of salt. So go ahead and do that yourself. Um, write down the two ingredients you choose and how much of each ingredient you need for the other ingredient. So pause the video here while you write down the ingredient you chose, and then when you're done, you can keep playing the video. Okay, so after you chose the two ingredients that are related to each other, you are going to create a data table. So you're going to go ahead and form a table with two rows and seven columns. So, um, instead of, um, oh, sorry. So go ahead and draw this into your notebook. And then the very first row and the very first column, you are going to name it your input. And then the second row, you're going to call your output. So for your, whatever you chose, your input is for every whatever, right? So in my case, it's brown sugar. For every three cup, cups of brown sugar, I get something out of it. That's my output. In this case, for every input, I get salt, right? So for every three cups of my brown sugar, I get an output of 1.5 teaspoons of salt. So for your table, go ahead and write down what your input ingredient was and then your output in ingredient. So, Okay, then you're going to go ahead and label your first column zero. Then go up to three, and then we're gonna go, oh, I'm sorry, I wanted to add another column here, okay? So you can do four, five, and then something, okay? So this is, we're imagining, I'm sorry, um, really important here, it's really important to always put the units we're using. So our brown sugar is in cups, and our salt is in teaspoons, right? We, we need to know the units because if I say, like, for every three of sugar, you need 1.5 salt, like, what does that mean? 1.5 cups, 1.5 tablespoons? So it's really important to always put your units. So brown sugar is cups, salt is in teaspoons. Okay, now you're going to fill in your table. 
according to the rule, the relationship that Chef Allen gave. So the relationship we know is that for every three cups of brown sugar, I get 1.5 teaspoons of salt. Okay. So whatever ingredients you chose, right, you can go ahead and fill in the given rule. Then I want you to use that rule to fill in the rest of the table. So instead of three cups, what would happen if you have four cups of brown sugar? When we made the cookie dough sandwiches, you already figured out that one fourth cup brown sugar means um, one eighth teaspoon of salt because it's half, right? You take the three and half of it is 1.5. So for example, if I had two cups of brown sugar, I will need one teaspoon of salt because I need half of that. So for your ingredients that you chose, go ahead and fill out the rest of your table um, so you know the relationship uh, you know um, different quantities between your two ingredients.